education today is undergoing a revolution. As well as the traditional skills in lecturing and presentation, today's teacher is required to use a wide range of new and exciting technology. The typewriter, the portable calculator, and the epidioscope. And he's always thinking how best these new technologies can be used. One technology that teachers are unsure about using is podcasting. Simply put, a podcast is an audio file which can be downloaded to a portable MP3 player. You can then listen to this where and when you choose. Maybe whilst out for a promenade. Or perhaps on a bike. Or on the omnibus. Or in many other situations. Podcasting has been scientifically tested in strictly controlled laboratory conditions. After extensive tests, scientists have discovered nine important rules to help teachers use this new technology to best effect. Number one, learning design. Think how a podcast might be used alongside other resources, such as books, course handouts and chalk. Think about what a podcast can do that other things can't. You could use it to good effect or not so good effect if used without thinking. It's a good idea to make a list of the goals you'd like your podcast to achieve. Number two, adaptation. Not all styles of teaching can be easily transferred to an audio or podcast format. You may need to adapt your teaching style to make best use of the podcast materials you make. Number three, plan and structure your material. You will need an introduction no matter how short. Think about what comes next and how this should be organised. And think about how to end your podcast. Perhaps a summary of the contents is required. It can be useful to write a script for the introduction and the close. Making your text double-spaced will help you read it more easily. Number four is consistency. Plan a learning strategy for your podcast series at the beginning so your students can make connections between them and know where you're heading. Number five is duration. The length of your podcast will depend on the content, but your students will have different spans of attention. As a rough guide, less than five minutes may be too short but more than 20 minutes may be too long, no matter how interesting you find the subject to be. Number six, no matter how much work you put in, not all of your students will like or use them. Some students will always prefer their textbooks or more social means of study. Don't be too disappointed if some of your students aren't excited by your podcasts. Rule seven, know your limits. Podcasts and players vary in their degree of sophistication and complexity. Some involve the lecturer talking, others involve interviews, and some involve students discussing their own ideas. For some subjects, special effects or recording may be needed. But watch out! There's more than you bargain for. If you've never made a podcast before, then try not to be over-ambitious. Listen to podcasts others have made, and see what's already available in your subject area. Rule number eight is to avoid making podcasts which cater to the lowest common denominator. Simply telling students how to do their assignments or giving them answers to confidential examination questions is against the law. You could go to prison. And finally, number nine is experience. Find other colleagues with an interest and experience in making podcasts. Take their advice on how to do things and how to adapt ideas for your own work. The audio quality of your podcast is important. When using equipment, you should use a good quality microphone. You can use one like this or like this. Maybe speak to your audio visual services department. They can give you good advice on how best to use this equipment for your own recordings. These then are our nine rules for improving your educational podcasts. Using these rules, and with a little thought, the podcasts you create will become a valuable learning resource for your students to use. Don't make your first podcast your only podcast. Good luck.